Hello, boys and girls. Today, not only will we be talking about James Charles, but we're also gonna be talking about some very important subjects such as empathy, boundaries, and a whole lot more. So make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, sometimes what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, whether it's YouTubers or just the fans of YouTubers and just kind of analyze them and talk about them and see what kind of lessons we can learn to help improve our own personal lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I just did a video about the whole James Charles uh, news that's been going on everybody freaking out about his sister's tour and the pricing and everything if you want to check that out go check it out in the info card but if you don't check it out basically i was just saying like the, the, all of it's ridiculous all right like and please just bear with me until the end of this video like i i really hope that you listen because i'm gonna be talking about the james charles situation but then i want to you know connect it to what you and I and everybody deals with on a more personal level. And I think by discussing these things, you might figure out a way to set up boundaries with coworkers, with friends, with family members and things like that. So anyways, most recently, I was actually just watching um, some other videos about James Charles and right now, today, today, as the time of recording this, people are freaking out about James Charles blocking fans over on Twitter. And, and like, here's the thing, there is, there is just zero empathy going on. And one would argue that there's no empathy from James Charles' side of the street, making ticket prices so high and everything like that, but also no empathy from the fans. Here's, here's something that a lot of people don't understand. 99% of the people who are going to watch my video, who are fans of James Charles, will never fully grasp what is going on in that person's life when it comes to being an influencer, all right? Just I, like me, I won't ever grasp it. I, I will never fully understand what they're going through. But something I'm, I'm always trying to work on and I've been working on a lot more lately is developing this empathy, okay? Now, James Charles blocking fans, like that, there's a narrative going on that James Charles is just blocking fans because they're upset about ticket prices. That is really simplifying what's going on. Like. I have some tweets up on the, the screen right now. Like, there are people, there are people who are literally just trying to get blocked by James Charles. They are specifically trolling James Charles just to get blocked. And as somebody who has personal experience with this, what people don't understand is during this time of chaos for James Charles around the ticket pricing um, for his tour, what people don't understand is he is getting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, thousands of people tagging him on Twitter. And yes, you might have a group of people who are just trying to give some criticism, some critiques and everything like that. All right, but there is a massive amount of people who are just sending him straight up hatred, okay? And what a lot of people will never understand from the aspect or the reality, the point of view of James Charles is, is that all those things are blending together. Like, all of us, each one of us lives in our own reality. You are just a person sitting at your house or at the coffee shop or wherever the heck you are saying, huh, James Charles' prices are too high. That's your reality, right? But meanwhile, there was another person that's saying, F James Charles, screw James Charles, he's greedy, he's this, he's that, da, 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 da. And that is their reality. Now, the reality of James Charles is all of it is getting blended together and it's one mixed bowl. And each one of us, we have our breaking point. I have my breaking point, you have your breaking point, and James Charles has his breaking point. If I had to guess, without knowing James Charles, without talking to James Charles, he got to a breaking point where he just went block happy, where anything was just setting him off because he is in an extremely sensitive state, so he is just blocking everybody. And is that fair? Not all the time, not always. Some innocent people are probably getting blocked. Some innocent fans are probably getting blocked. But I wanted to talk about this in a video to just try to help help you understand where he might be coming from and why he's doing this. Like, you guys, check this out. I was on Twitter the other day, and check it out. Jeffree Star blocked me. Jeffree Star blocked me. I don't know why. I have some guesses why. I've made some videos about Jeffree Star. 
I thought they were pretty empathetic, <laughs> like I was on the dude's side, but he blocked me. Why he blocked me is really none of my business, all right? Like, no matter what happened, whatever led Jeffree Star to blocking me, that is none of my business. That's what he did, that's what he had to do in his reality. And that's cool, man, that's cool. Like, one of the things that we're living with uh, and in right now is that people think that they have like this justified right to just dogpile on somebody with thousands like just picture for one second just close your eyes and imagine being in a stadium right like a football stadium that holds tens of thousands of people and you're standing in the middle of that stadium and all of these people are screaming at you they're not cheering you they are screaming at you just like try to imagine that for one second for a lot of social media influencers for youtubers for celebrities for whoever it is that is what this feels like to them all right but here's here's what i find interesting about this if you remember when james charles um palette first came out there was a young woman who um sent out uh, made a tweet that ended up going viral about how his palette gave her an allergic reaction all right and a bunch of james charles fans went after this young woman attacking her and harassing her this young woman ended up having panic attacks she talked about self-harm. She talked about a lot of things and she just wanted it to stop, all right? And that is awful, that is terrible. I don't condone that in any way, shape or form. But the point I'm getting at is that that young woman for a day or uh, a few days, whatever that period of time was, she got a very small taste of what influencers and celebrities deal with on a daily basis. I've talked about this with Chris, uh, uh, Dalia, like he is somebody who will put people on blast to show them what it's like to have this type of hatred just come in the masses. And like I said, I don't think a lot of people could fully comprehend this. Up until the last couple months, I could not fo uh, fully comprehend this, all right? But what I'm getting at is this. You have every right to hate James Charles. You have every right to make a video about James Charles. You have every right to call James Charles every nasty name you can think of and send hatred his his way all right but check this out he has the right to set up a boundary and block you okay nobody 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 has to take it not james charles not me and not you so here's the thing have you ever worked in customer service all right, like if you've worked in customer service, you too have probably got a small taste of what James Charles has gone through. For example, my first career was in the car dealership industry on the service side, I worked for Ford. And when I was working there and I first became a service advisor, they had a massive recall on a part in uh, the engine area that was lighting on fire, okay? People were coming in and screaming at me on a daily basis, calling me on the phone, screaming at me like I was, like my name was Chris Ford and I made their freaking car, all right? And yes, when you sign up for customer service or even when you sign up for an inf uh, as an influencer, that is something that you are signing up for. But there's a certain point where I would get phone calls and people would start name calling me. They would start uh, cussing me out and everything like that. And you know what I did? Click. Okay, back before social media was a thing, click, that was a form of blocking somebody. I had the right to, bl to block that person by hanging up the phone, and you know what? When I explained it to my boss, they had my back because they understood that I didn't deserve to take that hate. And if you're out there and you're working in customer service or anything like that, like make sure like you understand where your boundaries are and your limitations. But the other thing is too, like how many of you how many of you have maybe like gone home from college for like Thanksgiving dinner, you go back, you see your family or whatever it is, or maybe you just didn't even go to college or maybe you graduated college and you're on your new career path. Have you ever gone back home to visit your family and then one person or multiple people are sitting there just like talking crap to you about your life choices, your life decisions. What are you doing with your life? Why are you dating this guy? Why are you dating that girl? I can't believe you made this decision. Like, check this out. They have the right to say those things to you, but you have the right to get up and leave. You have the right to set up a boundary and leave that situation. The same way James Charles has the right to block whoever he wants, whether it's fair or not. Because like, if it's your family, they can argue like, why are you blocking me? Why are you block? Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? I'm just trying to show you affection and love. I care about you, right? 
but you have the right to set up a boundary and say, well, I don't appreciate being talked to that way. I don't appreciate how you've treated me. I don't appreciate these things. And like, here's, here's the last thing that I want to touch on. Like, I feel, and this, this comment might get me some hatred, but I feel it needs to be said. Like, I feel like there is this entitlement. Like, this entitlement. Like, listen, you're going on tour. You need to set the prices the way I want. And if not, I'm going to complain about it. Like, you guys, listen. Like, I'd be, I'd be chill. I'd be loving if I can have a Mercedes Benz, but I can't afford it. Like, could you imagine me just tweeting at Mercedes-Benz every day and saying, your prices are ridiculous, your prices are crazy. Like, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I just moved into a new apartment. We looked at a lot of apartments. A lot of them were out of our price range. Could you imagine if I just went in there and just every day just kept telling them how ridiculous their prices were? Like, what good is that doing? Like, what is that doing? Like, like a lot of you voiced your opinions and James Charles like adjusted the prices. But that's about it. Like, that's as far as you're gonna get. If you don't wanna go, don't go. If you can't afford it, sorry, there's a lot of things that a lot of people can't afford. They're like, I hate to like take this route, but there are like people who are living below the poverty line who can't afford food. I, the other day I was at a gas station, like I was at a gas station and I can remember being this broke. A guy got a dollar and change in gas. A dollar and change in gas. He could have sat there and yelled at them and complained to them about gas prices, but he just did what he could. He did what he could afford. So it's just like, like sometimes when I look at these situations, I'm just like, the audacity of people, like nobody's forcing you to go. And James Charles is getting like bombarded by tens of thousands of people, jackholes like me making videos talking about it. Like the dude is overwhelmed right now. Like disagree with him all you want, but understand he has the right to block people. That is his right. And you have the right to block people. You have the right to get up and leave certain situations. You don't, you don't deserve to be talked to in any way by a boss, by a family member, by a friend. Hell, like even a significant other, set your own boundaries. What we are witnessing right now is that James Charles has set up boundaries, whether you like them or not, he has set up your, his boundaries and you have the power and the ability to set your own up too, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. Let me know how you are with boundaries. Let me know if you've ever worked in customer service and you've had people just try to berate you <laughs> like over the phone, all right? Let me know what your experience is. Maybe you can relate to the, the analogy I made about a family just talking crap to you. Let me know down in the comments below and let's have a conversation, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon helping to support me doing something that i love i, I appreciate y'all if you want to uh help support the channel and get some perks and benefits on monthly q a click or tap right there all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time